do what others won't. Get freaking uncomfortable. Do it. And you will suck at it. And you're going to get made fun of in the beginning. But then you'll be laughing your way to the freaking bank when all those haters that were ragging on you, right, see you smashing them because you get it down. I'm an introvert. And yeah. It's kind of weird because you may think, well, hey, how do you go up? How do you have this um how do you have this courage we'll call it courage how do you have this courage to do all these things right now how do you have um like a high tolerance risk factor like where you'll go do anything how do you do all that as an introvert well number one man like when i was an introvert like i didn't get very far okay i was average at best when i was an introvert yeah and one day i decided one day i decided that i didn't want to be an introvert anymore Okay, I don't like walking by someone and shying away. I don't like looking at you and you having a conversation with me and me not being able to keep eye contact with you. I didn't like that. So what I'll tell you, if anybody's watching this and you're introverted, you're a behind the desk person, you want to step out there, have a great big life and you're counting yourself out because you don't think you can have it. I'm going to tell you a secret how to get it. Do what others won't. Get freaking uncomfortable. Do it. And you will suck at it, and you're going to get made fun of in the beginning, but then you'll be laughing your way to the freaking bank when all those haters that were ragging on you, right, see you smashing them because you get it down. Yeah. Look, whatever you do, and you do a lot, you're going to become good at. That's it. And keep your foot on the gas. Look, you're where you are right now because you took a risk, you believed in yourself when no one else did, and you attacked. You executed even when there wasn't a result. And by the way, a lot of people want results, but you got to fall in love with the journey. You got to enjoy the suck. Look, I, I wasn't a good speaker. I stuttered. So when I started selling cards at 18 years old, I stuttered. When I first went out, this guy's like, dude, you stutter. You're never gonna be able to sell anything. But guess what happened? I knew that I could slow my brain down, be able to control my freaking mouth, and I could be good at speaking if I wanted to. Yeah. Well, I wanted to. So yeah. I practiced it for a freaking year. Yeah. And then I, I started selling a lot of cars yeah. and I did good. Hey guys, what's up? It's Andy. Do me a favor real quick. Whatever you're doing, stop right now. Grab a pen, grab a piece of paper, write down my cell phone number, 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. Whatever you're struggling with, whatever you need help with, you want to go to the next level, you want to go to the next gear, you want to make more money, I don't care what it is, you need more leads, shoot me a text. Let me know what I can help you with. Let's get back to the video. When you spoke for the first time, you, you mentioned stuttering. That was mm -hmm. stuttering too. Yeah. When you did it the first time, did you suck? And 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 I was and, horrible. And, and how did you how, how did it go from there to become who you are now? Well, the biggest deal is is that look, man. And if anybody's watching this, like you 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 should be taking notes because that's how I retain stuff by taking notes, right? So I listen. So there, there's a quote, you need to write this down if you're listening. It says, when the pain overrides the fear of change, when the pain, when your pain gets so high yeah. that it overrides the fear of change, which means you're not afraid anymore to change because the pain sucks. You want to get on that stage, right? Yeah. So when the pain got so high where you want to get on that stage, you said, screw it, we're doing it on our own. Screw it. I don't want anybody else's help. We're doing it on our own. Sink or swim, it doesn't matter. We're freaking doing it. And that's it. So those that can handle the highest threshold of pain are capable for the most. You've been through a lot of shit in your life, right? Yeah. So guess what? You use that pain as passion. And one day, these guys wouldn't let you speak on their stage. You said, screw it. I always wanted to teach people in the masses. I always taught my, I took a store from selling 100 a month to 500 a month, affected 100 people's lives. I watch all these people out there in the world affected thousands of lives, right? I mean, just like, like, and I'm like, God, man, that'd be so cool. You know, or a million people's lives. You're like, dude, that'd be so cool, man. And I knew there was a guy inside of me that could do that. So one day, like you created the Driven event, which is awesome. And I guarantee, listen to me, because you reached down, grabbed, and then freaking took action, Guess what? There's a lot of people getting inspired by this that are going to take action because you took action. And we did the same thing. We created a master closer seminar and it was in 2018. That was our first event. We've done one there were, in that first event, we had like 20 people show up, right? Yeah. And it was a seminar, a closing seminar yeah. with me and my wife. 
And uh, dude, it was like, I watched that video still to this day and I crack up. Cause I'm yeah. like, dude, what, what a joker, man. But now we have a thousand people fly out every single month. We do it every month. We have a thousand people come out every month. It's booked every month and we've done it every single month and we've never skipped. Yeah. Is that crazy, man? It's crazy. It's and you know what? The people that come out, they're balling, they're crying, their lives are changed. They go home, they're better husband, better wives, better parents. They love themselves more. They look in the mirror. They like who they see. You know why? Because we freaking took action. Yeah. And we're underdogs. So I'm just saying, when I say this to you, those underdogs are dangerous. You know why they're dangerous? Because they keep the fucking chip on their shoulder. Yeah. I don't ever take it off. I don't care how much money I have. Our company will make $100 million this year. Screw it. Okay? If you want to beat me, you're going to have to kill me. Most people, when they make money, they get that, or I've arrived feeling. I've arrived. I'll smash you. And I love it. Yeah. I'm so glad people don't want to learn. They don't want to stay hungry. I'm so glad. They make it easy on us. Do you have any fears? Hell no. I got one fear of going backwards. That's a true fear. Yeah. But I'm not afraid to go forward. Like, my fear of going forward is nothing. I'll do whatever it takes to go forward. The fear would be going backwards. Yeah. You know what a fear would be? Honestly, I'll tell you one fear of mine would be to ever go back and be a one-dimensional man. Let me explain this to you, okay? A lot of people only think that they can have one thing in life, right? Like you're married, but you got a business or you're working for a company and you can be successful. So you let your marriage go because you want to be successful in business, right? Because that makes you feel more of a man. Or you take care of your wife, you're really close to her, but you suck at your job. Or you're good at your job, you're a great parent, you walk in the door, your wife's been waiting for you all day long, you come in, it's 9 o'clock at night, 11 o'clock at night, you walk right past your wife, go straight to your kids, give them a big kiss, she's been waiting on you all day long. You're a good parent, you're good at your job, but you're as a husband. Or you do all three of those good, but you look in the mirror, you don't like who you are, and you drink or take drugs because you want to numb yourself because you don't like who you see. One dimensional. You can be spiritually strong, you can be physically strong, you can be great at your job, you can be a bad spouse, and you can be a killer husband, or wife, or, or, um, or a dad or mom. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I'm about being all that You got one life, so let's not act like we're gonna live twice. Yeah. And if you'll not be one dimensional, I'm telling you, if somebody's watching this, you can have that You know what I want? I want my wife to admire me. I want her every day to look up to me and be like, dude, he's a Man, did he level up again? Yeah. That's my goal. Well, you made it till the end of the video. You're a true one percenter. I've already got your next training video lined up and ready to go. Click on it. Before you do that, like the video, subscribe. Make sure you set your notifications. Every single day I drop out free FREE, -E, free training videos for you. Click on the next video, and by the way, if you loved it, share it with a friend. Do that for me. Thank you so much. Let's kill it.